Phoenix Fire tells us that two cars initially got into an accident and crashed, and one of those cars then hit three people who were just walking in this area. So out here now, you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like. You could see the two cars, one crashed into that pole there, one of the doors on the cars ripped off, and some pieces of the cars also still out on the road. Police tell us this crash happened around 1 o'clock here at Desert Cove Avenue in Tatum. This is just north of Shea. Phoenix Fire says one person had to be rescued from underneath one of the cars. They say the three pedestrians and the driver of one car were taken to the hospital and are seriously injured. One man in extremely critical condition. Now, we still do not know their names, but we are told that they are in their 30s and 40s. We spoke with the manager at Walgreens near where this crash happened. He says he stepped outside once he heard the crash and saw a bunch of people standing around this accident. I saw a gentleman leaning to the ground or kneeling to the ground, and I did also witness um, a hand or a wrist from behind the vehicle. A lot of people were, um, they had the look of concern and interest just to make sure everything was okay. Just a little bit disturbed, I mean, but, you know, I'm just praying for the best for everyone. Then to me. Now dozens of Phoenix police officers are out here, investigators trying to learn what happened in this crash. They've been going door to door to businesses to try to learn some information. And actually just out here live within the last couple of minutes, there is now this team of a few different men out here and they actually brought a drone with them. So we saw the drone go up into the air and I'm sure they're just trying to learn some more information and get a better view exactly of what happened here. Now, I do want to point out that Tatum is still closed for about half of a mile between Shea and Cactus. So a lot of these cars are being diverted into these shopping centers where there's a lot of businesses, restaurants, and people are making their way around this accident through this shopping center. Now, a big question a lot of people had for us is, is impairment or was speed a factor? Those are still things we do not know at this hour. But once we learn some more from Phoenix police, we will make sure to update you. Live in Phoenix, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family.